The word coupe is French for cut, and that's exactly what Mercedes has done to its C-Class to produce the rather lovely C-Class coupe. Now, the saloon is already pretty blooming lovely, but this one, this turns up the want factor all the way to 11. So it's two grand more than the equivalent saloon the coupe is. And then there's the cost in terms of practicality because it's reduced over the saloon. So the boot capacity is about 80 litres less. And in case you're wondering, that's about the same volume as my body. And yeah, the boot itself, the opening and the, the overall shape and size isn't quite as good as on the equivalent BMW 4 Series. But you do get some nice features such as, well, you've got a shopping bag hook, some nettage there in the cubby. You get fold down rear seats, they split three ways and you can operate them from the boot. While the boot is slightly smaller than the saloons, obviously another compromise in terms of practicality is getting into the back. So these doors do open nice and wide and when you pull the seat forward, it electronically wafts forward out of your way so you can get into the rear. And inside here, it actually looks lovely in here with the individual contoured seats and oh yeah nice nice cabin and then you try and sit back and realize yeah it's it's not so nice in the back at all for passengers there is absolutely no headroom at all near room's all right but there's no way i could travel anywhere in this i mean this is really only for kids back here it's really really cramped and the seat backs are dead upright as well and if you want to see just how easy it is to fit a child seat in this car click up there on the car to watch our in-depth practicality video where you can also see what it's like with two adults in the back and just how much stuff you can squeeze into this car's boot really these kind of cars are bought by people who just travel with two in them and occasionally need some rear seats and in the front this car is wonderful. I mean, just pop in. Have to wait for the seat to slide back. And there's all of this one at the same time, so you can see what's going on. What a lovely interior this is. Now, these seats, they're specially made for the coupe, and they sit lower in the car, so the whole thing just seems more sporty. This particular car is the AMG line version. It has some upgrades. It's got real leather on the seats rather than artificial leather, and it's extended the artificial leather up on the dash. And to do those upgrades, you're talking a grand, but they're well worth it because it makes it just feel so premium in here. This one has the Premium Plus package, which includes the Burmester stereo, this panoramic glass sunroof. You also get the upgraded command online system, which is better than the standard Garmin sat now with the small screen that you get on the normal car. It's definitely worth the upgrade, but it is expensive. It's three grand. That's a lot of money. And to be honest, this infotainment system, yeah, the whole user interface and the menus, they're just not as good to use as BMW's iDrive system. Now, if you click up there on the top right hand corner of the screen on the car that should be appearing now, you can watch our in-depth video review of the infotainment system and have another good look around this car's cabin. And before I finish up, I should just point out that cubby spaces for a coupe are actually pretty good. So there's lots of storage under here. There's a big glove box. There's some cup holders there and the door bins are big enough to hold one and a half litre bottle. So yeah, pretty and practical. But for cars like this, driving dynamics are also a key factor. So how does the Mercedes C-Class Coupe measure up? Now let's get this straight from the outset. If you want the sharpest handling Coupe in this class, it's still the BMW 4 Series. It's also got slightly better visibility as well because the rear wind on this car, it's very steep and quite short that, yeah, it's not, not very good the view at the back. And well, you can see for yourself by clicking up there to watch our 360 degree video of this kind. But in every other way, I actually prefer the way this Mercedes C Coupe feels to drive. So first of all, it's really quiet here. The soundproofing is excellent. Also, it's really comfortable. So if you buy this car and you get the sport version, the suspension has a perfect blend of comfort and handling. AMG line models actually have stiffer suspension and the ride is a bit firmer. So if you're gonna get one of those cars, spend 900 pound extra for the optional air suspension because it's lovely. So in comfort mode, yeah, this car just, just glides up the road. It's so relaxing. And then you can press a button put it into dynamic mode and it sharpens everything up. And then you realize that, yeah, this car, it's easily fun enough for most people.
Now most people that buy this car will go for a diesel and it's actually the right choice because the petrol engines aren't really that good. Well, unless you're gonna buy one of the high performance AMG versions. But this is the 2.1 litre diesel, it's the 220. It's a little bit noisy when you accelerate, but you can't fault the economy. So I'm getting 57 miles per gallon. You could get similar economy from the C250D, which can get from 0 to 62 miles an hour in seven seconds or thereabouts. And it's definitely worth the upgrade because it's more sporty character suits this sporty car better. Also, make sure you get the automatic gearbox with a diesel, it's a new nine speed and it's lovely. It's super sleek and it responds perfectly when you put your foot down. Also, you don't want a manual anyway because well, Mercedes manuals will make you pull this face. There are some other things about the C-Class Coupe which will make you pull a funny face. Here's five of them. There's no boot release at the back of the car. You can only actually open it by a button in the car or by the remote key fob or by using the power of your mind. This windscreen signature is a little bit tacky on an otherwise cool car. This car has some of the longest doors of any Mercedes which can make it a bit tricky to get out in tight parking spaces. So I think we'll just stay here. This C220 Lowcase D bag looks a little bit rubbish on such a beautiful car. It seems stupid that Mercedes doesn't have the shortcut buttons for the infotainment system there with the controller, but there instead. Still, this Mercedes has some really nice features which help make up for all this. You can summon the emergency services or get breakdown assistance just by pressing one of these buttons. You can get a smartphone app which will help you locate the car if you can't quite remember where you left it. Oh look, it's not in the woods, it's there. The optional electric steering column will move up out of the way so you can exit gracefully. The car automatically shares its maintenance information with the dealer so they'll call you if it needs a checkup. The reversing camera hides underneath the badge when it's not being used. So then, overall, what do I think of the Mercedes C-Class Coupe? Well, its infotainment system is a little bit confusing and those back seats are really cramped, but it's a, it's a great looking car, both inside and out, and it's an absolute pleasure to drive. Now, if you click up there, you can get more information and find out the best deal you can get on the Mercedes C-Class Coupe at carwow.co.uk. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. And if you click over there, you can watch our review the Mercedes C-Class Coupe with a 360 degree camera. Now, did you spot the Easter egg in the video? It was all the knives in the car's central cubby. Get it, knives, cup, coupe?